Hey everyone, this is just a quick relative velocity example. Um, and it just simply says that the end of a of bar AB is sliding horizontally to the right at a speed of 2 meters a second. Determine the velocity of end B for, 30, for theta equals 30 degrees if the bar is 3 meters long. So if the bar is 3 meters long, the first thing we want to do is write a velocity equation for A with respect to B. So this is for relative velocity. So for relative velocity, V of A equals V of B plus V of A with respect to B. Now this V of A with respect to B term is the time rate of change of our relative position. So R, so this is, so V of A with respect to B is equal to R, the R dot of A with respect to B, which equals omega cross r of a with respect to b. And these are two vector quantities. Now, that means that um, that v of b, if we're going to solve for v of b, v of b equals v of a minus v of a with respect to b, which equals v of a minus omega cross r of a with respect to b. Now, if we look at v of b in the j direction, which it's going to be because it's constrained by the wall, we can see that v of b, oh, oh sorry, v of b is equal to the magnitude of v b in the j direction. So that in turn is equal to the velocity of A in the i direction minus our angular velocity in the k direction cross our components of length L. So that's L cosine theta that should be negative L cosine theta because this is our, our L cosine theta and this is our sine theta so L sine theta is this term, it's positive, L cosine theta is negative J L sine theta I okay so our V of B in the j direction is equal to 2i because we're given in the question statement that the end of bar AB is sliding horizontally to the right at a speed of 2 meters a second and our angular velocity is unknown so this is omega k cross negative 3 and it's at 30 degrees so negative 3 cosine 30 I R J plus three sine thirty uh, thirty I. Now we can then go ahead and simplify this equation by saying it's two I plus or minus three omega cosine 30 I minus 3 omega sine 30 J we can see that, that that because K cross J is negative I and these two are both negative so you end up getting a positive so the third of it so that ends up being a negative term here um, k cross i is j and you've got a negative out front of the omega so it's a negative term as well so what we can see this here is equal to 2i minus 3 omega outside of cos 30i plus sine 30j 
So in the I direction, if we look at our components in the I direction, I'll do that on the next page. If we look in the I direction, so I, our I components. Um, so omega equals two on three cosine thirty and if we plug that into our calculator we end up getting zero point seven six nine eight etc but we were going to do that to three significant figures so zero point seven seven zero to three significant figures now that's in radians a second and the next thing we'll do is we'll find our J components like so so say we, we know our V of B is in the J direction and that equals negative 3 omega sine 30 now we've already found our omega, so if we substitute that back in and plug that into our calculator, we end up getting negative 1.1547, etc. But we're going to do it to three significant figures, so it's 1 .1, negative 1.15 meters a second down. Okay, um, that's all that you need to do for this question because it's only asking you for the velocity of end B for 30 degrees or for theta equals 30 degrees. Okay, thanks for watching.